Jeff Coran, oh no, a spooky game demo. You better watch out, Jeff. There's a game demo standing right behind you. Tear says their eardrums got blown out. What what happened? I assume it was the resubscription alert, the spooky ghost noise. Oh no. I'm so sorry, is it too loud? Do I remember I, Should I make it louder? <laughs> Our last follower at play, and I don't know if it was them or or Snuggles. <laughs> One of them said, "I thought I was getting abducted." <laughs> so make it louder is what I'm hearing, right? Weaponized alerts, just as Twitch intended. <laughs> Jeff, you play black metal. Who cares what it what you're hearing is like? You don't need to hear that shit. Oh, I guess I already switched over to the game screen. Can we hear the game? Is the game making noises? Should be making weirdo little ambient noises. Uh, I'm going to play some fucking demos. Hmm. We just started. You can't yawn. <laughs> you just yawn. That's why I'm yawning. I'm allowed to yawn. On the wall here, in this uh, starting screen for this game... I think that's the tiger from Lion. <laughs> Not tiger. Not tiger. The lion. I think that's the lion from that Santana album cover. Actually, I think the lion on the Santana cover is, is growling, so it's probably not the same lion. Uh, all, all photos of lions were taken of the same lion. Can you prove that there's more than one lion? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Jeff is following in your footsteps. You had chocolate pudding before dinner. I didn't have a whole bowl. Around <laughs> around four o'clock today, I was like, man, I wish I had a whole bowl of chocolate pudding to eat. <laughs> if you eat chocolate pudding before dinner, you go to hell before you die. <laughs> Dude, I was so sick yesterday. I was so full of pudding and I was so sick. <laughs> Oh, it was just fucking leaking out of me everywhere. <laughs> oh. Here wasn't even in chat, and she was thinking of chocolate pudding yesterday. Well, here's a little... That's that one brain cell we all three share. <laughs> here's a little tip for you, Tirith. If you do eat chocolate pudding, don't eat three servings of it immediately before dinner. <laughs> it's a bad idea. I just, like, I started eating it, and I was like... It'd be stupid to put this back in the fridge. I'll just, <laughs> I'll just finish it. <laughs> so I ate chocolate pudding for like half an hour. <laughs> because my body is sinful and it must be punished. It was really good. I don't know. It was really cold. It was hit. It was hitting the spot, and then it hit the spot too hard, and I was sick. Anyway, this is a game called Leak. A demo for a game called Leak. I don't know what's gonna happen. I think this might be. It's a piss game. A piss game, like a little, little like. You run around like in Postal, but your goal is only to piss. You gotta hit everything. It's like Splatoon, but with piss. Uh. You gotta be fucking kidding. So smooth. Why? Why would I kid about this game being about piss? Piss is serious. Uh. Anyway, let's see what this game is about. Star Spawn, who gets all Star Spawn, who gets all the hung babes. Move the slider until the logo on the left becomes barely distinguishable. So the brightest. Yeah, <laughs> I can't see it at all. Choose game mode, not normal. Items player can interact with are indicated on the level. Player is chased left often. Higher chance of survival. Hence for solving in-game puzzles. Nightmare. No interactive items are indicated on the level. Player is chased often. No hints. When I switch these, there's like this little stuffed animal here on normal mode, but when I switch it to Nightmare, it gets replaced by a severed head. I can also make the person take the ship <laughs> back and forth. I'm gonna do it with the head now. Whoop, 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 This whoop, is the game. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Anyway, we're playing on normal. I ain't got time for all that shit. What the fuck is that? Oh, hey, that the the Stranger Things. That's the Stranger Things. Hi, we invite you to look at one of the legends from our book. The legends themselves are additional content to the main game. We've created a prologue with unique puzzles and screamers, so you can get to know our project better. Have a fun playing our game. Have a fun. That's not what it says. That's what I said. Ooh, frame rate okay there? Is it supposed to be like that? Apples. Oh shit. The fuck is this? It's a journal with a mouse clip. Yippee! Oh fuck. This game got graphics. Too much, it looks like. Item is added. Book. Ooh, this looks crunchy. I... Can we fix that? <coughs> also, Colin and Ghost Max are here. Ghost Max! We gotta turn some shit down here. Yeah, we'll just have to deal with that. It's gonna look a little less shiny. Alright, we got inventory, we got book. How's everybody doing tonight? What does that say? From your loving father. Is that what that says? Brother. Brother. Father, brother. Look.
Legends of the Mega Man Valley. The Me the Meganon Meganon Valley. The Cabin in the Woods. Ooh. Well, these are no good. <laughs> Shellacked in filth. <laughs> okay. What if I just leave? Don't get too far from home or you will freeze. Okay. Yeah, I'm getting the fucking icicles on my... Uh, you were fine until you got that message. Crunch, 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 crunch. We got like a personal half basketball court, I guess. It's not even half, it's like... No, I think it's half, because that would be like in the middle. So what's the other thing that you've got like three quarters of? What do you mean? Well, you got one goal, uh -huh. and you got this end zone for the... <laughs> the goal. <laughs> yeah, but that's the dividing line that would mark the middle. And you see it. You wouldn't see it if it was half. It's like three quarters. No, like you have a thing. You have a circle in the middle and then on the other side you would have the other goal with, with its half circle thing. What I'm saying is it would be half circle, full circle, other half. I don't know how fucking basketball works. Why do they call it a basketball when you it-ball the bask up? Then down-bask the ball in. What do we got going on here? Not even gonna acknowledge me. I don't even know what you're talking about. Asking the real cerebral, cerebral, cerebral. question. Cerebral. Uh-oh. <gasps> what the fuck?! He doesn't look too bad. He kind of looked like he was super excited to see you. He did look really excited to see me. Like, oh, it's my cousin I ain't seen in years. We used to play it all the time. A long time ago, there was a village on some rotten land. The life of the villagers was not pleasant. The harvest was poor and no fun ever happened. However, local people had an escape, a beautiful lake with blue water where they went to bathe. Ugh. They didn't have water ski like jet skis or anything? No, they just had to bathe for fun, I guess. Should I be walking on this shit? <laughs> no. <laughs> the answer was no. Well, short game. <laughs> you died. <laughs> well. Let's try that again. I suppose. Well, don't put me back on the fucking ice. Well, no, go up. What the fuck? Why is there a swan over there? Where? On um, look at this. Oh. Oh. And a knife. And a knife. Free knife. Which could be important. Oh no, we just want the note. Yeah, I'd really like to have that knife. Actually, I feel like the knife could come in handy with whatever that guy was. It's warning you there are swans around here. You want a knife so you don't get attacked by swans. says E to read. Oh, good. Thank you. Its shape is the number you are looking for. The second part is its chicks. Just walked around Just walked around it three times. It will reveal the secret of its family. Okay. So, like, it's a two, and it's got five chicks. Yeah. 
two five maybe. But one of them is black, I think. That's racist. That that it is black. What up, homie? Aw, oh, damn. Aw, oh, so no head. <laughs> Okay. Oh, that got me a little bit. That got me a little bit. You all right, homie? He'll never get a head in life. He'll never be the head of a major corporation. He really lost his head. Uh, we got... Ooh, what's this say? Smoking kills. Smoking kills, okay. Smoking conks. Once village kids spotted a light in an abandoned house right opposite the lake. A family settled there. No one knew where they came from or why. They hardly ever appeared in public. Sometimes a woman around the age of 25 came to the village to buy food. The husband did not leave the house. Strange silhouettes began to be seen in the forest. Various rumors began to circulate among the people. Okay. Like, do you have a piss meter? Or are there, like, subtle visual cues that you're gonna have to take a leak? It's a good question. What's going on here? Need a flashlight on the something with the trees and the something here? got here son's riddle dad i made the code i had i hid two numbers in each place dad i made the code i hid two numbers in each place okay when you have any t okay i have a task to open the barn i need a bunch of fucking numbers for that. Uh, it doesn't say anything on the Steam page about its soundtrack. About its soundtrack in, like, in particular, Star Spawn saying it sounds familiar. Hmm. We're playing Take a Leak Simulator 2023, David. Oh, okay. Can't get in the garage, can't get in the barn... What up, David? Oh, so yeah, everybody seems to be doing doing pretty decent. Uh, uh, Tirith said specifically she's living the dream as a dad in cargo shorts. Fuck yeah. You got the ankle socks on with the cargo shorts? we got here. Uh, the curious villagers could not ignore this, and soon they found that the strangers had children and that one of the sons had, was being killed by some deadly disease. Okay. I guess we need to try to go into the house. We got footprints out here and shit. She said, you bet your navy blue polo shirt I am. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Tear the fucking... Open the goddamn gate. Tear living it up out there. Wait, we got footsteps. Could you not go in the house? Or did I, you I haven't tried. Oh, okay. Looks too scary. I feel like I need to figure out this code. I feel like the numbers for this code must be outside. Hey, these trees are big as fuck. Are these goddamn redwoods? I think I missed a scare. <laughs> I don't know what that was. 
Is this a second barn? They really fenced the hell out of this barn, huh? Yeah, it's got a big fence going on here. Okay, melt the ice. We got a big pile of ice here we gotta melt. We got a garage key. Okay, we can open the garage with that, one would presume. What we got here uh as the days passed the village <laughs> began to live its boring life again until one day a sick boy was seen completely healthy on the lake it was an inexplicable healing this looks like something from uh wiki how mm -hmm. you know <laughs> like like how to mystically cure your son's mysterious illness five steps <laughs> It said, look, it's Colin. <laughs> look at that Colin. That was a picture of Colin. It didn't have a curly mohawk. Colin, that's Colin swimming in one of the big ass lakes they got up there. I assume that's all you do when you live near the lakes. Colin, we're making fun of you. Return to what you were doing. The big ass lakes. <laughs> oh, you want to see here? I'll show you the picture. Here you go. This was you swimming in one of the big lakes up there. <laughs> Alright, we don't seem to be able to get in here. Um, is that a gate? What is this? I guess this is a gate, yes. But it's locked. What the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, it's got a fucking miasma. Oh, it do have a miasma. Oh, I can't run now? Yeah, the miasma got you. Am I being killed right now, or I what? I think so. He gaping dragon you. Uh-huh. Okay. We just gotta watch this whole damn thing. Things got like five heads. So head, so head, so head, so head, so head. So head. That's I don't have to redo shit, do I? Cause that would be really lame. Well you should have thought about that before you went and huffed it to me asthma. Okay, I guess I'm not gonna try to go in there. I think it saved right after you, uh... Or right before. No, I think you tried the do the gate and then it auto-saved. So I don't know if that's just the trigger to make that dude come out. Can we get in the garage? We got the garage key. Do we have a flashlight? Fucking no. Yeah. Garage it up, baby. Now we got a flashlight. Oh, no. It's got seven in it. Is it going to have batteries? I mean, where are you going? Well, fuck you, buddy. He's scared of the dark. Well, goddamn. The kid's got nyctophobia. Well, shit. Yes, hello. Welcome back, Brown Walker. Oh, hey, what's up? Alright, we got a canister of gasoline, which I assume we could use to melt that snow, maybe? <laughs> yeah, we, uh... To take last week off. We are back. Got spooked. Got a spook there. You gotta wear those tires, then you'll be protected. 
Oh, like I slipped these over my body? Yeah. Oh, uh, let's open this shit back up. And like, uh, that was like the, uh, Freddy Krueger thing from the first movie where he sticks his head through the wall uh -huh. of Nancy's bed. And there's Luke Skywalker. It is Luke Skywalker. But people were not happy for long. More and more villagers started talking about the terrible silhouettes that captured the forest. The last straw was the kidnapping of a village boy. The children saw how a terrible creature was dragging him into the forest. He's not wearing denim, Tirith, so I have a hard time believing it's Chuck Norris. Oh, you can play some b-ball now. Ooh! Give me that. Give me that. Oh, I really, I really am going to be playing some b-ball, I guess. Can we... Oh, I can't... I can't make it from there. Hey! You fucking suck. Fuck. I jump, I can't dunk. Yes. Hell yes, game defeated. Yes! So, this dude took my flashlight, I guess. I was supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to follow his footsteps and get it back. I don't know. Oh, there's an eldritch portal on the wall now. What the fuck's up with that? Do you think I should touch that? I don't know. Doesn't it match your journal or your storybook? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> Got my flashlight back. Why couldn't I have just picked it up? Yeah, I don't understand. What was the point of this? And what does that negative seven mean? What was that? Snow? Uh, yeah, I think it was supposed to be something hitting that balcony up there. Uh, okay. Oh? Can't get into the house. Imagine that. Okay. Uh, so there's still a, a combination, or not a combination. Yeah, let's look at this again, because, like... Like, the note said I hid the numbers in two locations, and, like, we got one from this, because this is, like, that power line where the swan is engraved. Mm hmm And, I mean, this is the lake, so do I have to go back out on the lake? Looks like it. You just have to not fall through the ice. Yeah, use the basketball to break the window. <laughs> Fuck yeah. There was a little island in the middle of the lake, what? according to that map. Hey, what the fuck? Three. Three goes in there, I guess, between the tree numbers and the telephone pole. Oh. Numbers. Yeah, maybe let's not walk on the ice. Per se, let's sort of walk around. Like I don't, uh... Yeah, here's more ice. Yeah, I just don't really know what I'm looking for, you know?
Dude, we can Skyrim up this mountain, apparently. Oh, what? No, can't get quite to the top. <gasps> oh! I guess there were implied leaks in the garage. There were little puddles of water. Ooh, I'm leaking right now. What? Is that important? It seems to be glowing. That? Or over there? Over there. Or is that just ambient that looks... I don't know. Let's try to go back over there. Crunch, 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 crunch. I'm gonna write some winter synth. Yeah. I like the trees. They are pretty cool. Trees are pretty cool. Trees are pretty cool. You heard it here first, folks. Thank you, Tolkien, for opening my eyes to the world of trees. Like, there's a spot in the middle that's just brighter than the rest of it, you know? Yeah. I also wondered if maybe it was underneath here somewhere, but I don't think so. Yeah, like, there's a spot over there that looks bright, but, like, when I walked over there before, I died, so... Oh, I didn't know it was right there. I, I don't know. I just feel like it was anywhere past a certain point I died. Maybe you're supposed to use a basketball to test, but then you can only use it once, really. Yeah, I don't feel like it's going to be that complex. I don't know. Let's just look, walk over here see what happens, because it does look very bright. Okay. That didn't work. <laughs> you don't just see random numbers when you turn on a flashlight? I sprung a leak. I'm leaking everywhere. Yeah, like, the, the flashlight has a number in the beam, and I think that's... So, like, we got this puzzle, right? So, it's, it's showing me four landmarks that are going to point out... They're, they're going to indicate... A number code that I have to put in here so this first one is uh, a power line that's at the front of the house and I already looked at it and it's like two and five I think and then the flashlight beam has the number three in it so two five three then there's a tree and then there's the lake yeah one tree it's like you're not surrounded yeah. by trees. So, yeah, there's like a question mark in the middle of the lake. So, I guess it is somewhere in the middle. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know where the tree is either. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the code is 8675309. 8675309. Uh, yeah, Star Spawn. I don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> Do you? Who? J Joyce Climber Kilmer? Kilmer? No, no idea. Somebody who loves trees, though, I'm assuming. Like, do we see a number in the ice? I don't think so. I don't. I don't really see anything. Yeah, maybe we can just fish. Like, uh... I don't know. It looks like there's a little island in the middle, but... God damn it. Oh, I guess I guess Joyce Kilmer wrote wrote that line. Uh, I think that I shall never see a poem as lovely as a tree. Just 
Excuse me. Is there still fucked up shit going on inside the house? Yeah. How's it hanging, buddy? How's it hanging? That's insensitive. Uh. I mean, yeah, that is the proper way to move across ice. You spread out, you distribute your weight. That's true, yeah. Kind of crouch, no. Oh, wait, I can. Yeah, you can't go prone, though. I don't know, am I supposed to be, like, listening? Or is it this mystical... Oh. Oh, I guess it's this. I didn't know it was a fucking fable to spell. Or not, it wasn't even a spell, it was just a thing that would happen yeah. when you set something as your main quest in Fable 2. Okay. You ever been on a frozen lake? God, no. Me neither. Why the fuck would I do that? Eight, 18, is that what that's supposed to be? I think so, or 81. 81, 18. What a... Well, what the fuck am I supposed to do now? The dude's gonna grab me if I try to walk back that way. Well, don't walk towards him. He's, he's taking the dip, oh, he's okay. fine. He's fine. Oh, Crown Walker says they've been on a frozen lake. No, I think they were saying... Oh, wait, yeah, I guess that was a response to that. Did you... Were you ice skating? Or were you just hanging out? What were you doing? God, ice skating sounds like a nightmare. I can't even regular skate. I, I tried ice skating once when I was very, very young. And we got taken on a field trip to a... To, like, an indoor rink. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Just straight chilling on a frozen lake, like a. I like guess you'd a, have to be chilling. That's true, yeah. I mean, like, I guess I'd I'd like walk out a little bit or something, but I don't know. I'd be very uh, cautious. There's a light over there. Maybe that's where that tree is. I mean, there's something over here. Oh, yeah. It's a big fucking tree. Fucking great Deku tree and shit out here. What we got going on in here? Are these the doors to all the different holiday worlds, like in the beginning of uh, Nightmare Before Christmas? I think so. Pick this up. Okay, what do we got? Uh, eat, uh, local people became angry and started blaming outsiders for everything. In the hope of forgiveness, the boy's father confessed to doing a witchcraft ritual... <laughs> To heal his oh, son. Oh, should have just been doing a witchcraft. <laughs> However, the villagers were unforgiving and hung him in front of the family on the gallows tree, where they hanged off all the witches and the sorcerers doing a witchcraft. Jesus, look at all this shit. Life originated on four planets. Each of them had six continents. The story starts from the greenest and richest place. It remained visible only on one of the planets, but the continent is located in the same part of every planet. Time passed. Life developed, but nothing lasts forever. The disaster that destroyed a lot occurred. Only a few managed to save it at least something. Help restore links between continents, and you will be reunited. But here is what you should remember. That the first link always leads to the right, but if it is laid, you will have to lay another from the very beginning. 
strive for the nearest one only in a straight line. You cannot go diagonally. The numbers will indicate the number of new paths. You cannot lay two paths in the same direction. Fucking what? What? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God Almighty. Four, five, five, four. Okay. If there's one plate over there that has green on it, five. Oh, sorry, they're all five. No. Wait, what? That one gets oh, a green. Okay. Life originated on four planets. Each of them had six continents. The story starts from the greenest and richest place. It remained visible only on one of the planets, but the continent is located in the same part for every planet. Okay. So, you have to start in the upper left, because that's the first continent. Time passed, left developed, but nothing lasts forever. The disaster that destroyed a lot occurred. Only two, only a few managed to save at least something. Help restore links between continents and you will be rewarded. The first link always leads to the right. But if it is laid, you will have to lay another from the very beginning. Strive for the nearest one only in a straight line. You cannot go diagonally. The numbers will indicate the number of new paths. You can't lay two paths in the same. Okay, okay. So, so, yep. You have to start here. What? what the, <laughs> I'm fucking busy right now. Can you wait? What the fuck, bro? God damn it! <laughs> uh, aside from streaming, we've mostly been reading manga and watching anime we had to take care of family shit last week bummer it and i'm kind of sick of talking about it to be honest with yeah, you <laughs> yeah we had a we had a tragedy <laughs> <laughs> right now we're watching the dub of ghost stories <laughs> oh my god yeah we're watching we're watching the the english dub of the anime ghost stories because we which were, is like infamous <laughs> yeah we were we were told to check out the english dub because it is outrageous okay so you gotta go here to here like is it just one of those mobile game ads you get where it's like uh only five percent of people can do this without the lines crossing Yeah, I don't understand the goal. I don't either. What does it want me to do? Because you can do that, and then that, and then this, and here, and here. But it goes away. Like, do you need to make a complete circle, or do you just need to touch each one? It's. I thought you just had to link each one. I, I don't know. So, like, if you go green, then there, then you go down, then down one more... But instead of going to the one straight across, you go diagonally. You can't go diagonal. Oh. It said you can't. Well then, do you need to go right, down, left, down, right? I guess so. Oh, we're, we're making numbers. Okay. Yeah, I don't think this is as complex as it seems.
Uh, yeah. Wait, yeah. tell me what to do. Bottom to right, then up, then back to the left, then up. That's not a number. That's a six. No, that's a backward six. No, it's not. That that that's that's six. <laughs> is it? <laughs> yes. Well, why isn't it working? It's not working. It was the wrong order, I guess. I don't know. Thank you for saving our worlds. Get your reward on the big and small planets. The big and small planets. I don't know what that means. All right, I think we got all the fucking numbers now. What the fuck? <laughs> oh yeah, Tira's been watching that gambling anime. Oh, this one with the lady. Yeah, always. Anytime someone says gambling anime, I think of what, Akage or Akagi? Yeah. Or... Cause like, what is that one called? Kakiguri or something? Yeah. Like, I always think about watching it because I think the character design is really nice, but then it's about gambling, so I'm just not sure if I would like it or not. So is this written down? Yeah, oh, okay, it says good, it right there. I didn't in write book. it down. So we start with the swan. Which is two. One, two three, four. So I think it's two, five, three, six, eight, two, five, eight, one. There's not enough. It might be 37 for the flashlight, because there's that 7 on it. It's like blank 7 on the flashlight. Well, that's too many numbers already, though. You know what I mean? No, I thought you said you didn't have enough numbers. No, I, I, there's too many numbers, because oh. the last one should be 81, but I'm... I'm at the end of it already. Also, are we starting here or are we starting here? This kind of makes it look like you're starting here. Yeah. Oh. I think you might be right about the flashlight because it said your reward is on the biggest and smallest planet. So I bet these in the middle don't don't matter. Okay. So eight one six five three seven two five. Eight, one, six, five, three, three, seven, two, five. Okay, cool. Chuck it in the fucking pool on in the snow. We got we got rubber duck. Very important. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Yeah. 
We got some matches. So we could probably go melt that shit. We got a kerosene lamp. Got some Sh textures. Shadows and the textures. Textures do not like this lamp. hand is full. What the fuck? <laughs> I just fucking threw the shit. Oh my god. Okay, apparently I can't take this. And I broke my lamp, so what the fuck? That's great. Reminder, move things to the garage. Tear down the old barn. Okay. We got a saw blade. Oh, it respawned over there. The the lamp. <laughs> Fuck this lamp. All my homies hate this All lamp. All my homies hate lamp. <laughs> the wife and sons were crying day and night as they sat under the tree. You just sat under the hanging tree where your husband was hung. Their suffering was so strong that the tears shone and descended to the sky. Ascended to the sky. Nobody knows what happened to them afterwards. But every year at this time, a beautiful starfall reigned over the gallows tree. That's right, Tirith. Live, lamp, love. Live, lamp, love. Oh. I hate that. Where the fuck am I now? Did she pass out because you off too much fucking gas? <laughs> hey, I see you over there, buddy. Yeah, where are we going now? Why also why are the frame rates eat shit? It's all the light. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> frame rates are making these dudes look super stupid. What is that? Rock. A rock. Okay. Party time. Ooh. Fucking. Got a rave going over here. Oh no. Good night. This dude will pass out over anything. All right. Break my goddamn life again. <laughs> I guess I don't get it back this time. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go try to melt that snow by the other by the by the barn. What is this? Oh, that's the lock. Oh, there it goes. You don't really move fast enough for this to be a game where you get chased, I feel. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, that's the way I feel about most of these games. They just make you annoyingly slow. They're like, well, you're just not a good gamer if you can't outrun the monster. <laughs> that's one way to do it. <laughs> get light the snow on fire. 
That's so stupid. What we got here? Is this a ladder? Which was already sticking out of the snow pile before you burned it down. <laughs> I deploy ladder. Oh, I can pick this up. Uh, maybe it's not for here. Maybe I have to get to that balcony on the house, you know? You can just throw that. It's really funny. I wonder if you you have to use like you could use it to stun the monster. Oh, maybe. Let me go grab it again. <laughs> Bean it in the fucking noggin. Ooh, these textures are getting real jacked up. Are we getting followed? What's happening? The music changed. Yeah, look at him. Here he comes. Oh, no. He didn't even got collision. Look, I can't get away from this dude. Look at this. How is this, like, chasing? This is just catching. Big crunch. Okay. Can we deploy ladder? How do we ladder? He's a comedian, Colin. <laughs> if you're seriously asking that. Fucking Mitch Hetberg. <laughs> he got real big and died real fast. <laughs> yeah, it was very sad. He was really funny. How how do how do ladder? How do I ladder? How is Babby formed? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to ladder. This is even where I use Maybe the you use the ladder to dunk. What do I do with the saw blade? What do you do with anything? <clears throat> <clears throat> well, now I feel dumb. I don't know what to do with the ladder. Yeah, like, are any windows open? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Okay. Just a random window, I guess. How do I shot web? Oh, that's the saw blade. <laughs> Fuck! He whacked me on the noggin! You're trying to break into a house. He's in the right. Stand your ground, Law. It's got six hits. Leak! Thank you for playing the prologue of the game Leak. We have shown only one legend from the book in the game. Uh, I mean, that was fine. It was kind of goofy. <laughs> well, that's that then. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, I've seen worse. You know, it's it's fine, I guess. I don't know that I would play the full game. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's see. Leak on Steam. Go wishlist leak on Steam. Uh, Tirith, leak means uh, of a container or covering, accidentally lose or admit contents, especially liquid or gas, through a hole or crack. Example, the roof leaked. Are you being an asshole right Yeah, now? I'm being an asshole. Okay, if it makes you feel better, I accidentally typed Derfine leak <laughs> into Google. <laughs> Can you please define this word for me? <laughs> Derfine leak, please. All right, this game you're <laughs> gonna capture. Star Swan says there should be a cooking game called Leak with two E's instead of. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> also, uh, welcome, Inzan. Uh, Inzan says every one of these things reads like one of Liebot's bedtime stories, which. Are you familiar can, with that? Can, can you go back here so okay. I can see if the game is. Okay, the game it is. Captured. Yeah, I saw it. Oh, I didn't see it. Well, I saw it. Well. Can we hear the game? What is Liebot? I don't know. I thought you were... I have no idea. Okay, I don't know, you said it like you knew what it was. That, I just... What? Just play your fucking game. What? What's the problem? <laughs> I ex expressly asked you, have you ever heard of that? Oh, no. Because I don't know what it is. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Leak is an acronym for, uh... Love every... Abomination. Kindly. Oh no, Jeff's right. <laughs> Love eating apples, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Uh, anyway, yeah, this is a game called The Backworld, which I believe is a, uh... a turn-based RPG... In set in the back rooms, uh, all that looks fine. We should be good. All right, we got Teddy. Enter name, uh, Teddy. Uh, we'll be Teddy. In the darkness, you wait. Alone for eternity. There is nothing, but soon the cycle will make you whole. Just a few more, and it will all go away. Voices fill your mind with stories of lives that had never been. Eventually, the noises blur together and disappear. Are you dreaming? You are. That's the only way this situation can be rationalized. And so, that is what the truth will be. A world now enters your mind, but this cosmos is not the one you know, but what do you know? Apparently nothing. You should probably find a way to wake up. Hereth is asking, did adding monsters to the back rooms ruin the back rooms? Uh, yeah, I feel like a lot of people will say that. And you know. I mean, there have always been monsters. In the back rooms, correct? No. No? Okay. No, originally it was... I mean, everybody is, you know, it's a creepypasta, so I feel like it probably started off really fucking dumb. Anyways, you know, because all of them do. Like, the back room started as less of a horror thing and more of, like, a liminal space video game description, you mm -hmm. know? Because it wasn't even, like, a creepypasta. It was just, like... A concept. A concept to sort of, like, put a word to, like, the the weird spaces in older video games. <clears throat> and Zan says, wickifying the back rooms ruined the back rooms. interact with things maybe I can't interact with that are you moving with um, the arrow keys 
Yes. It might be A or Z. Can you just look at your key bindings? I don't know. C. C these nuts. You rest for some time and feel refreshed. Your game has been saved. Well, Tirith, if you make a little pixel RPG at this point, you can only make something that's Earthbound inspired. Like, legally. I think if you start making something and it doesn't look like Earthbound, you have to just, like, you're, you're persuaded by the government. <laughs> a giant blue head has formed on, out of the ground. Its eyes are looking off into the void, completely ignoring you. What feels like an eternity passes. The eyes are now looking at you, but it feels more as if they are looking through you. What? Oh, you've arrived. Welcome, I guess. I'm not completely here. Keep walking and find me again. Can I... Yeah, I mean, the art style, especially on the character, is very earthbound. I need to tell you something. What was it again? You exist. You're real. No, that should be obvious. I need to keep thinking. Find another me. No, nothing. Okay, this one doesn't want to talk. Maybe you're a god. But why would I need to tell a god that they're a god? That makes no sense. Forget it. Find the next me. I guess the books always tell you the same thing. Hmm. I'm sorry, I can't remember what I need to tell you. On the bright side, I can teach you how to survive. Walk upwards if you want to learn. If you somehow know what you're doing, walk downwards. You found experience. You need five more to level up. You can collect experience by exploring the world. Your level is shared across all party members. Resting at a checkpoint will, hear, will heal your entire party and save your game. Doing this will also respawn all the enemies you've defeated. Certain enemies, like bosses, will not respawn. Enemy needs to clear line of sight to detect you. Some are tricky. Most will also stop chasing you after you've run far away from them. The eye on the top left lets you know if an enemy has spotted you. A danger sign will pop up. Red sign. Enemies will kill you instantly. You have stamina when you are in danger. You can't use or equip items while you're in danger. Avoid the enemies you encounter next. A few other things to be wary of. Projectiles will deal damage to a single party member if hit. Traps deal damage to the whole party and make you fall over. It's possible to get a game over from taking damage in the overworld, so be careful. Gee, look at this guy. Oh, God. Warned you about projectiles. Warned you, dog. That's it for the overworld. Don't worry about the box in the top left for now. Continue walking to learn about combat. 
If you attack an enemy, you'll start the battle having dealt damage to the enemy party. Try attacking any enemies you see during the rest of the tutorial. Yeah, battle abilities, basic abilities are self-explanatory. There's nothing special. Special abilities take advantage of unique resources. Defeat the first enemy. That's the Slender Man. That is the Slender Man. Yes, punch. Okay. The controls are very strange. Yeah, Jeff, the Slender Man movie is pretty bad. So is the Bye Bye Man. Uh. It's not about Slender Man, but I associate those two movies for some reason. Aren't there two Slender Man movies? Yeah, because there's one that's not. It's the Tall Man or whatever. No, no, there's. Because the... isn't there one called Slender Man, and then there's one that's Marble Hornets adjacent? Like the Slender Man has like a blue cover, and the other one has like a red cover. It's like Slender Man the something, you know. Got a stick. Always watching. Yeah, yeah, that one's like, like a Marble Hornet. Doug Jones is Slender Man in that. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's like we've watched it. Um, it was just stupid, but I, but it's, I don't think it's the Marble Hornets guys, but it is like. Taking a lot from the Marble Hornets lore. All right, you'll find items you can equip. So I just got a piece of equipment. So I got like a stick. I can't figure out how to hit the enemies correctly for some reason. I would. I can't say that either of the movies are good, but I think Bye Bye Man is funnier and therefore more entertaining. Oh, I Psy Blasted this guy. I wonder if I'm doing less damage because he hit me from behind. Maybe this is just a meteor slender man. He's really beating the shit out of me there. Just destroy him. Oh, I guess that's what it was trying to get me to do. I guess that stick has an ability called destroy. Uh, yeah, don't think it, don't say say it. The pee pee poo poo man. We got a juice box and a chocolate bar. Many people you have in your damn party. No, there's a lot of character spaces over there. Well, I shouldn't have used that because this would have healed me. I think. Stupid. Never gonna beat this demo now. You need to use energy points. To so use your equipment ability, these points do not regenerate between battles. Ooh, I got a chef suit. K 
cannot be burned. I'm not gonna worry about the stats right now. Yeah, it's an RPG maker game, right? So like the 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 shit is just not laid out. Um, that great. I don't know. Like it's got that mechanic where you can hit an enemy to get advantage on them, but I they're very fast and like he doesn't see like the attack button does not seem responsive like I feel like it should yeah. be. Slenderman could punch you from quite a ways away, huh? He's got them big, long, garbage scooping arms. So, yeah. These are called citizens. These slender men. This is a cute RPG. I mean, I really like... Uh, Earthbound style stuff, so. You can switch between active and inactive combatants and ba companions in battle, which we don't really have anybody. Three. Lessons are over. I'll find you again. Don't worry. We're all allies. Wake up. Intense ringing pounds across your mind. The pain is unbearable you have to, that you pass out. Are you ready to leave this place? You may not be able to return for a long time. Sure. We got here. Hey, come downstairs. It's too late for you to be sleeping. Is it time? It it it, it is it time to play some? It is it time? <laughs> it is it time to play some more video games? Nah, you should probably go touch some grass. Captain Sunny is so cool. Yo, look at this gaming rig mm -hmm. over here. Huge toilet. Huge. You got some XP. Just a normal toilet. Looks a whole lot like the house in uh Oh worry. Boone is not working. Where are you gonna house in the rooms this fucking big? Dad has always been a huge fan of Cybro. Apparently his laser goggles can pierce anything. Twelve steps to becoming a superhero influencer. One, have superpowers. Four, create a banging super suit. Eight, upload your crime fighting videos to SuperTube. It's enough of that crap. Why does your dad always leave his super suit laying around? This can't be safe. Is your dad a superhero? Does superheroes real? Give me that candy. Most girls love heroes like Pink Lancer or Cat Basher. But your sister has always been obsessed with Bulker. She's weird. What a mess. Your brother loves the villain Shadow Stalker. He is currently going through his edgy phase. This is Jeff Coran's room. This plant is quite prickly indeed. Uh. 
You finally awake. So you're finally awake. I don't understand how you're just waking up during the afternoon. Anyways, it's almost time to eat dinner. The phone lines seem to be down. Can you please go and get everyone to come home? Betsy should be playing outside. Kevin hasn't come home from his friend's house yet. Oh, also your father. He should be nearby too. Thank you so much. See you soon. Jeff says the room needs more rotting rain. And then it would be accurate. <laughs> this really lightens the mood while you're hanging out in the living room. So charming. <laughs> Fucking nightmare. People gotta stop leaving their CDs everywhere. One time I left my copy of Alice in Chains Dirt laying on a recliner and I sat on it and broke it in half and it was such a sad day. It's a story from ye olden days of CDs. Your mother really needs to get over her coffee addiction. I wonder if you'll need these knives later to fight monsters. Of course not. Monsters aren't real. How to read. If you can read this book, skip to step 59. Step 59, congratulations, you can read. Okay. Betsy, hey, look at what I can do. Mom wants me to come home already? Fine. I'll be here. I'll be there soon. Okay. Kyle says, I'm so bored. Every single day, all your sister wants to do is show off her stupid superpowers. I guess I'll just go to sleep here. This grass is pretty comfortable. Kyle falls asleep. Oh, I guess she's skipping rope with her mind. Uh-huh. You've hurt yourself way too many times playing with this. It's a big-ass teeter-totter. Why do I even hang out with Betsy? All she does is skip with her stupid powers all day. Shut up, Tracy. You're just jealous. Yeah, well, it's not even impressive after you've seen it a hundred times. Oh, hey, your sister is annoying. Do all your siblings have the same powers? That's weird. Is there a dog in the doghouse? Here's a dog. Oh, that's a cat. I'm sorry. Meow. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? This is just a random man beating me up? Shit. Yeah, bully. You don't have equipment abilities. I could side blast him. Yeah, get fucked, motherfucker. What movie are you watching, Jeff? <laughs> you killed that man. Arf, arf. What the dog doing? <laughs> what is that from? What the dog doing? Oh, it's a vine, apparently. Okay. The big statue of a dude here. Is that our dad? Fuck! Like side blast is that your superpower? I don't know, because when I use it, it uses up the points around that little gold portrait, and that looks like a girl. Jeff is watching the pebble and the penguin. The pebble and the penguin. I don't know a goddamn thing about that. I watched it forever ago. Isn't that blue? Oh, 
We got a stick. We can equip that stick. Yeah, it's a Don Bluth movie. Johnny is completely focused on finishing whatever this thing is. Ah oh, yes, finally, someone is here to witness my genius. Nobody appreciates what I do here. I don't get it. All I did was pull up one daycare. It was an honest mistake. Through combining a Thuraplex capacitor and a hyperdrift engine, this baby will be the fastest rocket on the planet. I just got a... One sec. If this goes wrong, it may destroy all of Sunnyville. So, yeah. Okay, it's ready for action. Just wait. No, shit. Okay, it's done. Be ready to have your eyes roll out of your skull. Oh, shit. Hey, Jimmy Neutron. Hey, Johnny Test. Oh, fuck. You have beat him to death now. Well, it seems the only thing I've destroyed is my eyebrows. They grow back, right? I only got an A in biology, so I wouldn't... A minus in biology. I wouldn't know. Stop looking at me like that. I hate my life. See you around, dick. Alright. The jogger up here saying, Why do I do this to myself? I'm gonna go eat nachos. I think she said I'm gonna go eat nachos. Oh. Hello. Bygone says, Yo, what's up, bro? You got superpowers, right? Psychic ability sounds lame. Changing my size is where it's at. Alright. See, like, I'm mid-swing by the time yeah. the dude fucking gets to me. The pebble and the penguin. What is the pebble and the penguin about? It's about penguin marriage ceremony. Oh. <clears throat> How do they get married? What what do they do? They, they, they give the girl penguin a rock. Is that true? I don't know if it's true, but it's true in the story. Hey, is this the bulker? You think you can on the you think you can on the bulker little guy I'm the strongest hero in all of Sunnyville hey champ you arrived just in time look at how strong your father is oh it's time for dinner I'm kind of busy I'll be there soon gotta finish this first this is important what do you, what do you got going on here I thought shadowing your bulker would be a good learning experience, but these idiots are having a strength contest. Hey buddy, how's it going? We're going to find the Beastmancer's home base, but I guess this is fun too. My daughter wants to be a superhero, and I fully support her. Someday, somebody needs to keep this place safe. I believe in her. Hopefully she gains superpower soon. The supervillains have been getting pretty aggressive lately. I don't really understand why it's happening. Maybe it has something to do with those weirdos that have been popping up in the forest. Why is Doc Ock here? I don't know. I don't understand. Like, this, this superhero thing is such a weird concept to be part of this. Epsilon is still roaming the streets, and these two are doing that. Can't, I don't know who is more stupid, your father or Bulker. I'll go deal with some villains on my own. Oh, bye. What is the dog <laughs> think piece by Robert Flanderson? According to my calculations, the dog must be final pages ripped out. Must be important information. You're looking quite handsome.
I can't wait to be a superhero. I'm going to save so many people. I can shoot lightning from my fingertips. The Beastmancer won't know what hit him when I show up. Amber is so dumb. She has no superpowers, but still wants to be a hero. Alright, I guess we still gotta find our brother. Hey kid, your brother's hanging out with Benji in his room. How'd Benji end up with such a little twerp anyways? He literally has super speed. Why won't he take out the trash? Back in my days, kids had respect. Also, love was real and genuine. <laughs> Everything is so fake these days. Bet you don't even know how to use a rotary phone, stupid ass. <laughs> stupid ass. Stupid ass. It's a lot of romance novels. Laying in bed with some fried chicken sounds pretty good right about now. You cheated. I already killed that chess piece. You suck. Stop, stop, stop. I won. Oh, hi, bro. It's time for dinner. Uh, I'll be there soon. Your brother is such a sore loser, but at least he isn't as annoying as your sister. Yo, who is this guy? My mom is such a jerk. I don't have time to take out the trash. Shadow Stalker always says on TV that if your mom yells at you, just punch her in the face. That'll do the trick. It's Shadow Talker, by the way. Not Stalker. But where the fuck they go? Is Shadow Talker? Yeah. Everybody got raptured. Don't worry about it. Everybody got fucking raptured. I can't believe it. Wild shit. Oh, this guy's still here. Hey, you little shit. I know you maybe missed that shot in the finals with your dumbass psi powers. Think you're clever? I'm gonna smash your head in. Prepare for battle. Uh, yeah, sure. I'll fight him. I don't give a fuck. Chad has the passive steel. This grants him a stack of block at the turn of start of every turn. Shit, I'm stunned. I guess I'm passing. And getting punched in the goddamn noggin. Eat shit, Chad. Yeah, this is a basketball-heavy stream, apparently. Yeah, it really, really is. You found a juice box. Chad ran away. Yeah, fuck Chad. Oh, shit. Hi, honey. I hope you're hungry. Thank you so much for getting everyone. Sorry, I have one last favor to ask before you sit down. I took a walk while you were running around and dropped my wallet. It's probably near the trio of rocks by the house. Go get it for me. Okay. You just start eating without me. You sent me to go get everybody, and then you all just start eating without me. The hell was that? You need to make sure your family's okay, but be ready. Let's uh, give the old saver Ruski here. We've possibly been assailed at dinner time by supervillains. It's so dark. Where is everyone? Thank you. 
You can hear faint breathing upstairs. Oh no. Oh shit. Something attacked us. Others gone. Sorry, couldn't protect. Creatures trying to find you. You aren't strong enough. Run away. <laughs> okay. Oh shit. Oh, I guess that was the... Oh, okay. I guess I'm in the back rooms now. The place is completely barren. A constant buzz from the fluorescent lights hums in your ears. The carpet is old and moist, causing everything to smell disgusting. At least it seems like those monsters didn't follow you here. You should be able to find an exit. door is decayed and not usable. You tried to break the door down, but it won't budge. The lock is broken. You step over some especially damp carpet. It's disgusting. Menacing voice whispers out to you. I see you. You need to get out of here. So many broken doors. Surely the next one will work. Oh, shit. Party-goer clown. I'll, do you like the monster art? Oh, yeah. The fuck is this? does any of this mean? It's completely unreadable. The fuck is that? You've emerged into what seems to be a school. Fleshy monstrosities are littered across the floor. That clown is clearly toying with you for some reason. You should continue avoiding those yellow creatures at all costs. But where should you go? Seems like you'll need to explore. It's gotta be an exit out of here. Baseless creature stands still inside this locker. You look behind it and see a hole in the wall that leads into darkness. Yuck. Creatures. Oh, we can level up. Alright. Why do these creatures need school supplies? Yeah, they're very, very fast. Citizen has the passive blind. Their evasion and accuracy cannot be changed. They can be punched.
boost box. I'm confused. Does this saving thing up here actually heal me or what? I don't think it actually does. It says you feel refreshed, but it doesn't seem to be actually doing anything. Well, yeah, just hit it again and we'll check for sure. It's like maybe it just heals you a little bit, but not fully. It says you're at 50 out of 50 okay. there. Okay, maybe, maybe I was mistaken. I mean, he was doing some pretty good hits. Oh, they come back when yeah, you get on there, don't they? Yeah, I forgot about that. I keep draining. And it's making me sleepy. Oh, is it raining again? Yeah, it was for a couple of minutes. <clears throat> Maybe it'll be cooler tomorrow. There's an air quality alert until Wednesday. There's always an air quality alert. There's not really, though. We are back in the back rooms. Oh, we got some old shoes and an old suit. So I guess you don't get XP from fighting? Oh, that's weird. I don't know about that. He found a Shades. So, okay, so the shoes I'm wearing give me speed and evasion, but this gives me attack, evasion, and crit. I'm going to wear those. You just got like a suit and some sunglasses on. You can smell something terrible under these coverings. You see a severed head staring straight at you. Cool. Is that? It's like somebody was fighting this monster, a potential ally. Apparently the fighting caught the attention of something. You can just barely see a face. Almost looks like it's smiling. Okay. What's with this shit? Assuming you might get some sort of minimizing ability. Oh, yeah. 
Oh my gosh, you're here too. I just woke up in this place after falling asleep. I got backed into a corner. I'm pretty lucky you showed up. We need to get out of here fast. You feel a power swelling within you. You reach out to Sandra and suddenly understand the shadows of the world. You can use stealth. Hold the stealth button to activate it. Enemies will ignore you unless you've already spotted you. Stealth bars refill at a checkpoint. Okay. Alright, so the more shadow resource you have in fights, her attack goes up. You can give her those shoes. I can. stinky shoes I found. Put on these stinky shoes. You found yourself in a horrific kitchen. It smells like rotten meat. It's being cooked here. What? Look at this shit. He has in this little nightmares. <laughs> Looks like an octopus, but it has a face. Seems like faceless creatures kill everything down here. Are you an enemy? Yeah, it looks like we can fight. The faceless chef is focused on cutting up a bizarre creature. Looks like his equipment is pretty strong. Maybe you should take it for yourself. Would you like to start? Yeah, let's fight him. Is it, who, who's his little partner over here? We have poison to the chef. Right, that's a boxer, not a citizen. Why is he ribbed? I don't know, for your pleasure, probably. This really needs controller support. I feel like that would make this a little easier to play. I definitely thought that attack was finger job. Hey, we got armor and a weapon off of that guy. That's fucking cool. Plus two attack, plus five accuracy, plus five slash. How is that equipped? I don't know. So I guess that's all that was in here, was just fighting the chef guy and getting his shit. I mean, that's cool. Alright, so some of these holes have ladders that you can go in and out of. And then it says, your funny little guys look like Hebo Hotel characters. Hell yeah. But leaning a little into French animation. Oh. Very specific. <laughs> it's very accurate, I think, though. Oh, I'm so sleepy. That's what drama mean, because I know you'd be playing first person games, and I'm so sleepy now. I'm so sorry. It's not your fault. <gasps> you gotta get faster. Apparently, I don't know what the fucking problem is. 
Not all their ties are the same color. Yeah, because... Oh, one, the suits aren't the same color either. One of them is not a citizen, it's a weirdo. Ah. Because it, it poked me instead of punching me. Like, she she has the poke attack. See, weirdo used finger jab. I got finger blasted by a weirdo. Hmm. Good night, David and Amanda. Thanks for hanging out. Hey, night, folks. Oh yeah, you're supposed to go all the way back now, aren't you? So you can sneak past that yellow enemy. Oh! I swung on this man. So he, he automatically takes some damage. So yeah, I need to sneak past the yellow guy, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I guess you're guess you're accurate. You're right there. this like I just love the idea of turn-based horror games so like that's the dude I needed to sneak past right or a dude I should it's a dude yeah like I mean okay so they do outright kill you I remember I, I don't remember how to get to where you were to begin with, but I just know that there were two there were there were two paths and you know you pretty much had to go down the one because you couldn't get past the yellow dude on the other side. What you're saying is there are two paths I can go by, but in the long run there's still time to change the road on. Uh huh. Is that what you're trying to say? Mm hmm This would be my biggest tr problem with this, uh... Remembering where to go. Yeah, because everything is supposed to look exactly the same. I think this is the right way. to the barber shop and said give me the Dora Explorer. Give me the Dora Explorer. He looks like a little little uh, William Murder face from Death Clock. Yeah, Clark. yeah. I 
I totally hit that dude. I don't know why I didn't do damage to him. I mean, at least that doesn't mean that they start hurting with you taking damage. Right. guys is hiding around the corner. Okay. They need to fix that. That's fun. of the stealth that you stopped to get past that guy. Mm -hmm. Guess I'll fight this slender guy. It looks like there's enough space down there for like four party members to fight at once. Yeah. But I think you had like six or eight slots in, yeah. your, in your item screen or your party screen. But it said you could like switch people out like a Pokemon battle basically. Weirdo has fainted. didn't have to go all the way back because I think this is where you snuck past one up there. Yeah. So I'm not sure where you're supposed to be going because this is where you met Sandra. I'm not sure either. You've already spent roughly an hour on this, though, if you want to go to a different game. Yeah, I think I will. Two hours. This is really cool, though. I do really like this, and... Yeah, RPG demos are 
kind of generous, so. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna take probably a while to get through all this. I, the vibe is really cool. I really dig it. So I could, I, I could see it being one I try to play through. We'll keep my eye on it. Yeah, let's try to knock out one more of these demos that I've got. I'll try to look for one that looks a little shorter. I'm not trying to rush you. I'm just letting you know. No, you're fine. Let's see how this one how this one works. All first person realistic graphic horror games have a load screen like what if there were items on a table? That's accurate. That's very accurate. You might want to see if you can change it. Oh never mind. Yeah, it's fine this way. Alright, uh, we should have game audio in just a second. Let me know if there is no game audio. Alright, graphic quality looks fine. So this is a game called the Ikai. Ikai? Ikai. I, the I K A I, and clearly it's got like a, some kind of Japanese theme going on here. I can feel the evil within these walls. Oh there shit! Must be a cursed object somewhere. Oh, and I need to find it. We got cursed objects. This kind of looks, or like it makes me think of, of Q on, the the PS2 horror game. Yeah. It explains the proper way to pray. First, drop some money in the offertory box. Then, ring the bell and perform the prayer afterwards. You turn it off. You can turn off motion blur. Yeah, let's definitely turn that off. But it adds to the realism. It does not. Got some rotten apples. Clomp, clomp, clomp. Like, what the fuck am I walking around in? You were in those wooden sandals. I look down like I can see my fucking feet. Sometimes you can. Look at this shit. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, but is that normal? Like, would that just be here? I don't know. It burns! Don't touch that door, I guess. Does that mean you're a demon? It seems that these seals come from a priest who's attempted to lock the spirits inside. But I thought... <laughs> This cabinet contains the most sacred possessions of the shrine. The priest does not allow anyone else to open it. This cabinet contains the most sacred possessions of the shrine. The priest does not allow anyone else to open it. Oh, you have to actually, like, manually open these things. My bad. Like, I was clicking shit, hoping it would open, and it does not. You have to open it with the mouse. It's a lot of detail on these assets, huh? Mm -hmm. They look really nice. Did 
you take your headphones off? I never plugged them in. Oh, okay. Oops. The uh, audio in this game is very nice. There's a lot going on with it. This I don't want to touch the thing the now because we're already live and I'm afraid the shrine. it'll fuck the, the priest audio does not allow up. anyone else to open it. The you can't. priest usually keeps the money upstairs. I may find a coin in there. You may find a coin where? What is this? I can't recognize this mirror. The owner must be here. A broken piece from a tormented soul. An unwanted reflection made it an undesirable item. Okay. Alright, so should I be able to find money in here? Oh, yeah. Here's some coins. Alright, we got some coins. I mean, is that chill? You can just take that? It's 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 my uncle, it's fine. Okay, we did that, now we ring the bell. Ring the bell. Bell does not ring. I'm oh, coming. Oh, wait, what is that? Probably what you got for not ringing the bell. Greg's here. You got Greg. What up, Greg? This door just slammed shut behind us. seal to lock the evil up inside the mask there should be a brush at the library okay i guess the mask is what's cursed so we have to go to the library and make a seal is this the library these seals on the door disappeared whoa Stick ass haunted house shit. Real haunted house. High five simulator. High five simulator. The little grudge boy's gonna be in there. It's very dark. Very dark in these rooms. Oh no. Oh, I just heard a grudge noise. That's not chill. Don't do that to me. It's just like being in high school again. Why? Dude used to do that all the time. Like, we were in high school when those movies came uh, out. So there was always some dude in the back of the classroom who'd make the Kayako, like, death croak noise. Get grudged, idiot. <laughs> What's this? I don't have a goddamn clue. I know, like I, I, I don't know what I'm looking for. I'm looking, I'm looking for ink, apparently. So there would be ink in the library. I don't know where the goddamn library is. I haven't seen a single book. I haven't seen a single book. I haven't seen a single copy of Twilight. Let's see if 
I can find the brush. Here we go. Voice acting in this is also pretty decent. Like everything has been has been voice acted. Alright, got a brush. Mm, I'd need one with ink. You need a brush with ink, like pre-applied? That is what I am looking for. I said the voice acting is good, and then she just went, That is what I am looking for. <laughs> okay. I'd need one with ink. Can I, can I move this? We have paper. Oh my god. Do I have to look in all of these? What is this? Okay, drawer opening simulator. Can't even see in these damn drawers. <sighs> Yo, folks making noise over here. Kodama, the curse of these nature deities shall come upon any unwary woodsman who dares to cut down the trees where they dwell. A cut makes one bleed is a signal that the tree is inhabited as the souls of those who as the souls of the host trees, Kodamas are the protectors of the forests. They are rarely seen, but when they are, these souls appear as faint orbs of light. Orbs? Okay, we've collected a yokai page. Bro, can somebody point me in the direction? Is that a page you can collect? I think so. The Kijo, a heinous crime committed by jealousy, turned a woman into a demon after death. Kijo is her name. She'll stand before you stronger than any human being, with her piercing eyes, blue skin, and sharp horns. Should I look in the upper shelves? This is the last image you'll ever be able to see. Should I look in the upper shelves, says the character. I guess so. But yeah, there's something over here, huh? And Zan is saying, early season Monster of the Week shoujo anime vibes. Yeah. Okay, here She's we go. She's going to collect the cursed item, I meet a new friend, a and learn an important I... lesson. Shall I double check? Sailor says... I would say there is a brush inside. Shall I double check? What? I should... Okay, I picked that up, and she says, I should say there is a brush inside. Should I double check? I would say there is a brush inside. Shall I double check? I don't know what that means. I How do I double there check? There is a brush inside. Shall I double check? Hmm. I need one with ink. Lady, you that can put ink I on a brush. Ink. So, like, the brush should be in that... Should should be in there, right? Yeah, I think I can see it, but, like, you can't interact with this, can you? Other than just I would rotating it around. Inside. Shall I double check? I, I, I don't... Oh, okay. I guess I had to hold the mouse button down on okay. it. Step by step. Now I go to the table to start writing the seal. This table? This. Oh, okay. 
<laughs> That's not quite a safe place. Oh god. I'll look for another room. That scared the shit out of me. What? Yo, what the fuck was that? I don't know. I didn't get a good enough look at it. Yeah, do you need to cut across here? Is it patrolling that hallway? I don't know. Home. 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 There's one lit in this room. Is this a safe table? Well, yeah. It's not lit in there, but it's lit, Lamal. I guess those aren't tables. What the fuck? Got noises going on everywhere. I mean, I imagine buildings like this do, in fact, make a ton of noise. Oh, you can light that lamp, that lantern. Oh my good god. <laughs> it doesn't seem like it'll work. I'd better repeat it. Oh no. Oh no. Can you not stop once you start? It doesn't seem like it'll work. No. I'd better repeat it. So you have to do it all that's not I don't know. I don't know. I really don't know. Only Baba gotcha. <laughs> there was no indication there. I guess I don't, I guess I gotta go somewhere else to do this. You can turn all of these on, it looks like. I guess you just need a room with light. It doesn't seem like it'll work. I better repeat. Yeah, how are you supposed to do it all in one go? Well, if you keep... Does it discard it immediately? Like, it, do you have it any... It doesn't discard it immediately, but I have the option to discard it then because it's fucked. Should I like shut myself in these rooms? Like, how am I? What am I supposed to be doing here? I guess I can't do that, huh? Here, you try to do this. You have a better hand. I mean, it's just if you can't do it with multiple strokes. doesn't seem like it'll work. I'd better repeat it. See, I think it's already fucked. Hate this bitch. Cause like I, I, oh, I did one stroke and I stopped and it didn't yeah. say anything. But then after I stopped the second one, it got pissed off. So I guess you can do multiple strokes. I just fucked it up every time I tried. God, how it wants you to be precise. Yeah, this is annoying. For a while. God damn it!
Like, this has, like, swiftly fallen into that trap that I hate in horror games, where it's, like, they show you the monster a million times because they make it catch you a million times, mm -hmm. and that just kind of becomes annoying instead of being frightening, you know? Oh, yeah. Also, this mechanic is like it'll work. not it sustainable. <laughs> Like it'll... Glad you get to look at this old lady's feet a hundred times. What, what, what did it want me to do? I don't know. I, I did it. Let me out of the goddamn room. Here, you try again. it on the mask yeah the mask is the oh yeah 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 i forgot Is that, is that the demo? Yeah, I think that was it, mercifully. I mean, it's a cool concept. I I, I feel like the that mechanic needs some work. The drawing mechanic. Oh, shit. Is that a spider lady? Oh. <laughs> okay. Ikai. I mean, that's cool. Maybe. All right. I think that's going to be all for us since you're falling asleep. Oh, you going to play Final Fantasy tomorrow? I gotta. You gotta? What do you mean you gotta? Somebody going to put you at gunpoint? Me. You going to put your... Do you need to grind? I don't think so. I think I'm in the the dreadnought still i gotta save the princess you gotta be fucking mario i do final mario all right well we will see you folks tomorrow everybody have a good wednesday and we will be back soon goodbye Bye.